सो हाई गाइज वेलकम बैक आई होप यू आर हैविंग अ फेंटेस्टिक हेल्थ सो टुडे आई एल बी टॉकिंग ऑन लिंडा नोबल लॉरियट मीटिंग ओके एंड सॉरी फॉर द डीले लाइक आई रिकॉर्डेड अ वीडियो बट इट वॉज बैड एंड लाइटिंग वॉज ऑल्सो नॉट गुड आई कैनॉट अश्योर यू द क्वालिटी ऑफ द वीडियोज बट वट आई कैन अश्योर यू इज द कंटेंट इन दी यू नो इन्फॉर्मेशन कैन बी सम वॉट यू नो कॉन्क्रीट ऑल्सो लाइक द डिस्क्लेमर ऑफ ऑल द वीडियोज आर लाइक आई वोट बी गिविंग यू अ कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव इन्फॉर्मेशन यू नो और हॉलिस्टिक इन्फॉर्मेशन रादर आई एल बी हिंटिंग यू टूवर्ड सम सम गुड प्रोग्राम सम गुड फेलोशिप सम गुड मीटिंग्स एंड सम वाइटल इन्फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज आई डोंट बिलीव इन द स्पून फीडिंग कॉन्सेप्ट आई जस्ट आई आई विल बी गिविंग यू द हिंट बट यू नो ऑल द होम वर्क बी हैंड्रेड हैज टू बी डन at your end and i usually believe like those who are interested for them it's uh, like they just need the hint or you know the pathway and they can they can easily make it so uh because you know providing everything in one go uh to me doesn't make any sense because uh usually those who are not interested will not even you know do it even after having lot of information and people who just who really want it to do will do it in, even if some hint are provided to them so i i usually believe on on this um, very firmly okay anyway like i'll be addressing five w's okay uh, like i usually believe that if you want to understand any topic or if you want to provide some information w's like who what when where why okay i think uh, that will be enough to give you a glimpse of what it is all about so see this noble linda noble laureate meeting it's not a new thing it's it's been 70 years now okay every year this prestigious meeting uh is held at a beautiful island called lindau in germany okay and usually it's it's a platform where you know top young scientists get the opportunity to meet the so called leaders or the nobel laureates okay and not only meeting you can talk sit eat and roam here and there basically this lindau is a very small island okay you can cover the whole island uh walking on your footsteps so probably it's like in the evening you will be uh taking a walk and you'll be uh seeing a noble laureate there so it's it's like that yeah, usually it is framed like that and the whole island is booked for uh usually for this meeting like you you'll be meeting in restaurants across the street and in so you will be seeing uh, the people whom you are meeting in daytime you know uh, for this uh, the lectures and all going sessions there are a lot of fully packed sessions are there and believe me they are not boring at all like i have attended a lot of conferences and then usually uh, we try to focus more on the enjoyment part but this meeting is somewhat very special like you won't feel bored at like not even for one percent it it has uh, all together a different experience like you you whosoever will be attending it it will be a lifetime memory okay so uh, this is like this is uh, as i told it's a platform where the top young scientists are selected everywhere by this lindau nobel laureate foundation it's a council okay so this organizes uh, uh, this meeting and uh, uh, so how where to apply usually see phd's are all, this applications are open for phd's and post doc okay uh, i think it's i'm not very sure but you can check i think masters are also there but i think they should be uh, almost completing or you know some something like that was there there are three categories as far as i remember i applied for uh, in the phd category so you can check it out okay Uh, the most important thing is like how to apply so i'll i'll tell you both side of the coin because i was like usually uh, the process is ki har country okay it's like more than 90 95 countries will be you know participating it's it's it, it's a big meeting believe me it's a very big meeting you will be seeing a uh, people all across the globe like okay so 
uh, how to apply is a big question first of all usually the process like i'm telling i'm using the word usually so the general process is internally a selection committee is there for every country okay like suppose india the dst will be conducting the selection process okay you'll be a uh, dst will come with the forms in the month of you know suppose if, if we are applying for 23 2023 so usually dst will come with the forms june july august latest okay latest by august uh so you have to apply okay you have to submit your documents there is a detailed form you have to fill that you have to uh, you know uh, uh f- like compete your uh, candidature there like you have to show your achievements your past success your future perspective everything so it's a d- detailed document uh, all you have to mention all the uh, publications out there and what uh, what you have con- contributed in that field you have to write a very good sop also the motivation behind the application so a lot of different sections so you have to fill that in a very detailed manner and very impressive manner i think the word, word limit are also there so you have to be very careful about it so once all this are done you will submit the form dst will scan okay uh, they'll shortlist the candidate they'll call for the interviews and then they'll suggest those name to the dandao nobel laureate foundation okay and then of course they'll shortlist or they'll usually if they are no, low in number suppose four five people four people are there so they they'll take it if more people are suggested by dst they'll have their own screening okay this is the general process but in some odd situation like in the year 2020 so uh, like dst didn't come out with the forms okay so i was eagerly waiting for this because i got to know about this meeting by reading the hindu newspaper in a very small section you know very small blog this meeting was mentioned so this was the first time when i like it catches my eye oh like what what is this all about and then googling and then knowing uh, getting you know searching more and then i got to know that this is the one of the most prestigious meeting for the stem people not even stem like in in whatever disciplines the nobel prizes were given so this is the world's most prestigious meeting you will be having you know 30 40 uh, nobel laureates in one meeting you can meet all of them so it's it's for me it was a, a, a dream come true okay i never imagined all these things i'm from very humble background uh, traveling abroad was uh, itself a big uh, very big thing for us okay um, like my my family never had uh, any abroad trips and all so it's my background is not uh, that so for me it was very fascinating oh like something is there and i should apply and all that stuff it just clicked my mind so i was like, keeping a very key i want to this meeting like when the application will come i'll apply and i'll apply and i don't know I, like i never thought of the results as such like of course in in our dreamy world we usually think oh if we got selected we will got to uh, you know visit uh, germany the island and then neighbor by countries and all that so at the back of the mind sometimes when i was sitting idle all these uh, things were going on but of course like you know getting selected itself a big question anyway so what i was saying is so this is how i got to know about this and then when i would uh, like googled more about it i saw that it's it's happening every year but because of this covid it was like for the two years it's it, it was not there uh like in in very odd situations something will happen so the meetings will be called off otherwise it will be there okay and for every year every year will be dedicated to one discipline like 2020 was dedicated to uh chemistry so you have to be very you know um you have to uh, see like when your discipline meeting will be there and it will be like one only one chance because after that suppose if you are applying in phd category and then after if it is up happening every after four years so you you'll be your your stage will somewhat be different and maybe you won't be fitting in there so you have to be you know for your one attempt should be your best attempt that's the key for this meeting okay 
so uh, i was telling about the odd situation where like in which i applied i usually when i applied in 2022 dst said that due to covid and all that budget issues and something like that they are not like i wrote uh, many mails to dst seeking when the forms are coming i irritated them probably because i was waiting for it i cannot miss this chance and i cannot miss this year so i was mailing the head and all that so after you know pinging them up too many times i got a response that this year dst is not participating in this meeting and we are they are not having fun for it and something like that i was very disappointed then i thought i should try more and then i thought i'll like i i wrote to this foundation that see i was waiting for this meeting i want to uh, attend the, like i want to uh, try for this and i want to submit my application kindly of suggest me a way and i wrote a very good mail i believe it was good but because i got the uh, very good reply so they said that uh, okay if if india is not participating directly so uh, what they uh, they uh, sent me a link and they guided me that uh you can you know compete across the globe so they are in so you can apply an open application so open application is like the linda or nobel laureate uh, committee will will scan your you know uh, uh, cv or the form the application form and they'll screen you like whether you are eligible whether you are deserving candidate or not so for, i i thought okay it's fair like it's fair if if we are not having a selection process internally like within india uh, it's it's a good opportunity that i should compete globally hota hai nahi hota wo alag baat hai but karke to dekhe theek hai so then i submitted the detailed application form as i told that it was of somewhat same nature you have to Uh, you have to show your achievements you have to show your contribution in the field the publication why you want to attend uh, um, uh, why it is important to you what will you you know uh, uh, learn and all basic questions like you should have some skills to write so that's it so i submitted the form so usually it is like october end november starting okay so the uh, the application portal will be closed for you then they'll screen everything and then i think feb end in march you'll be noting uh, you'll be notified uh, by the council whether your selection is there or not so i was fortunate they selected me and then june like the meeting held in june uh, so i was there in lendau so that's how like this was my story so i narrated this because sometime it happens that in um, usual circumstances you will feel that you are not able to participate in this meeting but what i'm trying to say is you have to sometimes create your own pathways you have to if you want something in your life like okay if you want to attend this meeting and there were like you know some visa issues are also there it's a roller coaster uh, ride for like this meeting till like i remember i think it was 27th or 26th of may i was not sure even uh, even after attending i was not having my visa because i moved to washington and there are whole mess that has been created so what i'm trying to say is if you want something you have to really work for it three and i when i'm saying this you have to really work like uh, selection hone ke baad bhi aisa nahi hai ki kabhi kabhi cake walk ho jayegi mere sath to khair bahut baar aisa cheez hoti hai theek hai you have like things will be testing your patience so selection ke baad bhi agar koi visa mein bhi issues um, face kare tab bhi you have to keep trying keep trying um i really uh, appreciate my brother for that because i lost hope that oh my god i even after getting selected uh, i'm not able to attend because i have to join uh, in washington and then like uh, i was having a very uh, you know strict a uh, time frame to apply and the usually visa process like german consuls they take time so to you know scan your i don't know they are somewhat i should not comment anyway <laughs> so uh, but uh, like he he used to say like uh, you should i know you keep trying keep trying and try and give up on the day when the meeting has started and you are not there on that island 
so that was like his uh, um, motivation and then i thought yeah fair enough like why i am giving up easily so he was like i really thank him because otherwise i could have missed this meeting uh, even after selected and all that rigorous process so the point here is that uh, uh, keep keep trying be, not even this meeting like this is the most prestigious meeting you can attend believe me and not only this i'll be talking about iupac summer schools i'll be talking about other conferences like uh, the american chemical society royal chemical society some uh, iupac conferences and summer schools so uh, i'll be talking on another video so what i'm trying to say is uh, this is a general uh, uh, you know a uh, take that you should uh, you know like you should keep trying for everything like not only the application the visa and everything usually uh, like only for this i struggle usually they are somewhat pretty simple since you're sponsored okay you your stay is there uh, they they'll be giving you everything so usually it's somewhat a decent process not like uh generally you know if you apply for some tourist or to utna difficult nahi hota but kabhi kabhi problem aa jati hai to you should keep all these things in mind so i told you like why you should apply because it will be a game changer for you like this is one of the you know biggest dream you can uh see that oh like meeting all 30 40 nobel laureates in a one go in a one week so for me it was a uh, beyond imagination so that's why you should apply where you should apply i told you like usually there are two fold you uh, like uh, sometimes it's within your country the selection process is there and it is done by uh, you know uh, the like dst department of science and technology so in case of india okay and if it is not there you should try hard and then you should write to contact this council of lindau nobel laureate meeting and then compete globally so this is like like where you should apply when to apply i told you like usually the forms are uh, there in uh, june july august and the portal will be closed by october end if if it is you know october november end if it is if you are competing globally uh where when does it happens i i told you every year june july will be the two months like you will be there uh, so usually it, it is in june so you can you can uh, keep checking on to it and i told you what it is all about it's it's all about you know a platform a meeting uh, for say a uh, seven eight days okay and of course you can have extended holidays after that if you want to stay in europe i did that i went to prague uh, but this meeting is for a week and a more okay so uh, it's it 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 is for like the top young scientists interacting and having a beautiful exchange with the nobel laureates and who is conducting that so of course then uh, there are a lot of funding agencies there and you will be funded by one or the other okay because lot of partners are connecting and as all of all the people out there will be sponsored okay so you don't have to spend hum lump sum amount to have that experience so the council will take care of it it's just that you have to prove them that you are a suitable candidate and you should like okay so this is all about linda nobel laureate meeting i won't be going into details uh, take a time to uh, type linda nobel laureate meeting on google and search for it read more and you will see some amazing videos i usually like i posted a lot of it, like my experience on uh, on my instagram uh, portal because when like when i was uh, searching for this meeting i usually see uh, videos because they usually would keep me motivated oh my god i'll be there i'll be doing this and that so that spark i usually like this is my take i want like people can call it show off or i i don't care okay so i because i was the person i whatever in whatever fellowship program summer schools i was applying i usually see 
uh, how's the place, how the building look like, how the lab look like, what will be the environment, what will be I'll be getting and all, all those fancy stuffs. Th these things usually motivate me that I want to be there, I want, I have to work hard. So probably for 1-2% uh, of the audience will have same mindset, okay? And can, you know, they can motivate you and can make you more enthusiastic and curious about, about all these things. So hope it will work. And if you still have any further questions, uh, you can, you know, uh, contact me, like put a comment or uh, mail me or anything. Relevant, re relevant views, I'm telling you. No absurd, no, it's like, and usually like uh, the, regarding that previous video, I think it worked uh, because some of like, some of the accounts were deleted. I think they were fake. Okay, and usually, I like on this, I'll comment like, why, why, like, uh, do you really have that much of time to take screenshots and you know, uh, from this videos and then comment on to this and then, dude, it's not required. I don't need that. Like this expression is more good. Like, are you that free in your life? Uh, it really bothered me. Anyway, like I won't go into the detail, but it was terrible. Um, uh, Yes, and the at the end, somebody asked me uh, that why I shouldn't go for assistant professor job, and decided to pursue postdoc. So, अब सच बोलना है तो देखो सबसे पहले तो the first thing is मुझे ना थोड़ा ऐसा curiosity रहती है कि मेरे discipline में मुझे सब पता होना चाहिए मतलब सब तो कैसे ही possible है but सब का मतलब होता है कि जैसे बीएससी किया ठीक है कि डीयू लाइफ कैसी होती है सो आई नो दैट देन आई वांटेड टू सी आईआईटी लाइफ सो आई नो दैट आई कैन टेल एनी जूनियर एनी एनी चाइल्ड आउट देयर हु वांट टू लाइक हैव अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ इट सो आई कैन टेल यू द लाइफ एट आईआईटी ओके मास्टर्स की भी पीएचडी की भी अब कोई मुझसे पोस्ट डॉक का पूछ ले फ्यूचर में तो मैंने अगर नहीं किया होगा सिर्फ एक रैंड और मुझे ना बिल्कुल पसंद नहीं है रैंडम कमेंट करना हाँ अच्छी होती है अब्रॉड में तो सब बहुत अच्छा है या फिर नहीं बहुत बेकार होती है अब्रॉड तो इन सब चीज़ों से मैं बचती हूँ आई आई वॉन्ट दैट आई शुड हैव सम एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ इट एंड देन आई एल कमेंट ओके तो एक सबसे बड़ा ड्राइविंग फोर्स तो ये था कि मुझे मुझे खुद के लिए भी और शायद सम जूनियर और सम यू नो नेक्स्ट जनरेशन के लिए ही मेरे पास ये आंसर होना चाहिए व्हाट पोस्ट डॉक इज़ ऑल अबाउट लाइक व्हाट इज लाइक हाउ इट फील्स टू बी इंडिपेंडेंट रिसर्चर साइंटिस्ट लाइक कैसी कैसी लाइफ होती है व्हाट इट इज लाइक व्हाट इट इज़ ऑल अबाउट आफ्टर पी सो so, सबसे पहला तो इसलिए मुझे बहुत फैसिनेट करता था हमेशा से पूछ लॉक दैट आई एल डू इट लाइक आई एल गो एंड हैव दैट एक्सपोजर आगे जो भी करना होगा विल सी बट एक बार करके तो देखना है ठीक है तो दिस वाज लाइक दिस वाज द प्राइम फैक्टर सेकंड चीज़ ऑफ कोर्स असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर का डायरेक्टली इसलिए नहीं किया क्योंकि पी का मतलब असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर जो इस पी के बाद मिलेगी दिल बी ऑन फॉर द बी लेवल को सपोज डी में तो जो कॉलेजेस हैं हंसराज हिंदू के एम सी स्टीफन्स तो ये जो ठीक है ये जो कॉलेजेस हैं बीएससी लेवल तक तो यू कैन अप्लाई यू कैन नॉट गो फॉर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री डी यू और सी आई आई टीज एन आई टीज तो हयार मतलब हयार की नहीं और स्पेशली बिकॉज थोड़ा सा इंटरेस्ट रिसर्च में है लाइक आई थॉट कि रिसर्च के साथ साथ टीचिंग हो तो थोड़ा यू नो इंथजियाजम बना रहेगा मतलब ये था आगे क्या होगा मुझे नहीं पता तो मुझे एकदम से आ, बोला ना एक्सपोजर लेना था तो मेन तो यही था और सेकंड ट्रुथ इज लाइक आई वाज शॉर्टलिस्टेड फॉर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर यू नो दिस जो भी ये रिक्रूटमेंट होता है ठीक है एट कॉलेज लेवल फोर फाइव आई थिंक फाइव कॉलेजेस हैव शॉर्ट लिस्टेड मे और ये ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन के एप्लीकेशन है वेन आई वॉज नॉट ग्रेजुएटेड लाइक आई डिड इट हैड दैट पी एच डी डिग्री स्टिल आई मैनेज टू गेट इन टू दिस शॉर्ट लिस्टेड लिस्ट ओके बट द प्रॉब्लम वॉज नाइनटीन से ट्वेंटी टू हो गया मेरी पी एच डी हो गई सब कुछ हो गया तो उनका मुझे आज तक इंटरव्यू ये नहीं पता चला कुछ कॉलेजेस एक दो कॉलेजेस से मतलब छोड़ो नाम नहीं लेते तो उनका रिक्रूटमेंट हो गया एंड दे नेवर कॉल्ड मी फॉर इंटरव्यू सो इट्स ऑल यू नो 
uh, I cannot say on that camera, but it, it is somewhat internal, a lot of internal dynamics that controls the recruitment process. So I was somewhat fed up, fed up in the sense ki, uh, why to waste that much of time. Like I can do some other things. So I like I want to uh, have that government job, stable job. So it's been a few days left for a new year. So it's been a few days left for a new year. So I couldn't do so much time waste, so I thought I should try for postdoc and see how it will be. So, because the recruitment processes are somewhat, they are very slow, like not somewhat, they are very slow. Take our new process, like uh, some recruitment is going in the Department of uh, Chemistry, DU also. I feel the form got shortlisted, but I don't know when will be the interview. So, so this was one factor. And of course, like the IIT somewhat attracted me more. And of, so let's see, like it's very difficult to get into IIT. Usually they ask for it three years of postdoctoral experience in good publications so so yeah these uh, this is my honest answer why i didn't go for directly for uh, assistant professor after my phd okay so guys i really wish you a uh, merry christmas in advance and i hope that this new year will be uh, somewhat prosperous for you so bye bye take care